Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Jamison. Today I'm bringing you one of my occasional tips, tricks, and how-to video. This one is going to be on, you guessed it, something I've been bitching about a while. Changing your pet from a cat to a dog or a dog to a cat. Because if you're like me and weren't paying attention when you started your save file, you would have realised you picked a cat instead of a dog. This is my main one that I use for a Let's Play. Look at the screen, you can see all the details match. So, what you gotta do is, you don't even need to boot the game up, but I did this to clarity's sake to prove it. That's him. The cat icon will still be there, but he'll be a dog in the next thing. So what you do is, I'm exiting the title. All right, I'm out of the game now. Now, what do you wanna do? Well, this is how you do it without modding your actual, using the mod program. What you wanna do is, Open up your quick access file explorer if you're on Windows. Go into your profile, then come over to app data. Then pick the roaming folder. And this is usually where all your Stardew Valley saves will end up. So scroll down till you find it, go in. Go into saves. Pick the correct save. I like to edit both the old and the new so everything looks the same. So you go open with notepad. Now whatever animal you currently have, type that first. So cat. Well, you go cat person. The dog, just use the word dog. It's there's a lot less things that have the three letters dog in it. Uh, one word. There it is. And then change that to dog or lowercase. There you go. Find next, which is just because I'm lazy. So next one over. I change that to dog. And now you type in your pet name. In my case, it's Wombus. There's the NPC data. This has got to have a capital first letter. Remember that capital or it will cause your game to crash. And that is all. Save. Close. And now you open your modern save. And repeat the process. It'll show you the last word you used to find. So pet name. And I'll do this in reverse. I over backspace there, guys. There we go. And again, I forgot to hit the up arrow. And you hit save. Now with that done, we jump back into Stardew Valley as I have here, tell it to load, wait for it to find your save, that's the save we want to load, and we wait for it to boot up and see if we've succeeded. Good sign if you have that you've succeeded is the game won't crash upon loading. Now, if we go out, and looky here boys and girls. We've species changed our animal. Now this isn't perfect, won't change everything, it'll still show the, the icon of the animal you started with, but if you're like me, you made a mistake and you just wanted the other animal, there you go, you have it. It acts the same for all intents and purposes, apart from that icon in your inventory, it acts like it should. So that was my tips, tricks and how to on how to turn your dog into a cat or your cat into a dog without any mod software. So if you liked it, liked it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to help my channel grow, feel free to subscribe. Uh, yeah, once again, my name is Jamison, and I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.